me. <laughs> I was about to talk and I just couldn't. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so I just want to talk for just a few moments um, because I want to talk about a subject that just had been on my heart all day today. And um, the reason why I entitled this video The Many Titles I Carry because I want to talk about the many titles that I carry and um, about some things that God had placed on my heart just a few minutes ago when I was writing in my journal. I'm looking down because I'm looking down at my journal. And I wanted to talk, I, I wanted to really pray to God and talk to God about all of my severed relationships that once were so important to me, so near and dear to me, so so close to me, that now are non-existent, really. And some of these relationships were like this with me, you know what I'm saying? And And just normal relationships that other people have and that they carry, and I don't have that, so... I just I was really reflecting on that and not in a bad way because you know back then I probably would have been upset and, and heard about it but now that God has taken me through isolation and the wilderness and now that he's got me so busy with everything that he's given me and blessed me with to be a steward over I don't have time to just sit around and feel sorry for myself and cry and feel bad that I don't have anybody to talk to besides God you know um, thank God that he's blessed me with my husband you know, because my husband is my best friend and I'm so glad that I waited. You know, he was worth the wait for me because anything that I'm going through, anything that I'm experiencing, me and my husband can talk about it. We can pray about it. and We can reflect on it. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. And so, um, you know, that's definitely a blessing in, in itself. You know, my husband is my best friend besides Jesus, besides the Lord. Um, I can talk to my husband about anything. And um, I was just thinking about this and God was putting in my heart that, you know, even though I don't have these close relationships that I had before that I look around and everybody else has, you know, um, it's really taught me to depend on God in my life in a way that I never have before and this has been in my life throughout my whole life even whenever I was in middle school elementary school high school young adult ages I've never truly had that person or the friends or the people that I could just depend on that were so close to me like this like this like this that I could that I could just run to I've always had to I've always had to be strong in my well I didn't know I had a relationship with God back then but in myself to get through things you know um, as you guys know in school I was very bullied I didn't have a lot of friends <coughs> in high school I got pregnant at 16 I was very looked down upon and frowned upon with that um, I moved away from my mom and, and my parents at a very young age to take care of my family at a young age you know so I didn't have that I got um, married and divorced at a very young age um, and so I didn't really have a lot of friends or best friends. Hold on just a second. Sorry about that. My daughter needed something and so <laughs> and so I didn't have a lot of friends or a lot of people that I could depend on even at a young age um, and then once I came to Christ God really really turned my world around and cut me off of everybody and kind of put me in a Paul situation where I where I've just been friendless you know family members have left friend friends have left everybody left I'm here by myself again so um with that being said um I really thought about the things that God has pressed me into and 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 the many titles he has given me and <laughs> so to speak <laughs> um and so the first being his child, you know, that comes first, seeking God, having my relationship with him, being in his word, praying um, and leaning on him every day, talking to him about everything, anything and everything that goes on in my life, walking out the righteous path, the righteous and the narrow path, just just picking up my cross every day and working, walking it out in faith, by faith every single day. That's number one, you know, that that's that's the first thing, being his child. You know, that that's the first thing. The second thing I would say would be being a wife, you know, 
being a wife is not an easy thing. It it's, takes so much out of you to be a wife and to be a good godly wife at that. And you know, not to be one that causes dissension or is wicked or, or goes with the flow of the way that wives are nowadays. And um, that takes a lot out of you. And so being a wife is definitely a huge responsibility and a huge calling in my life. And so, um, you know, that definitely would be another, another thing that God has called me to. Being a mother, that would be another thing. Being a mother takes tremendous responsibility and tremendous discipline and patience, you know, to be a mother, to get up every single day and take care of not only yourself, but another person, another being that's depending on you to be the guidance in their life, to take care of them, um, cooking, cleaning, you know, making sure that they have their school clothes, helping with homework, helping them with any situations that arise in their lives you know you 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 play many roles when you're a mother and so being a mother is the hardest job that i've ever had you know it, it's it's full time more than full time and it takes a lot out of you in order to do that and so that definitely would be another thing that god has called me to being that i'm no longer um in the workforce as far as working a nine to five job He's called me to steward over my children and to be a good godly mother and good example to my children, raising them wholeheartedly. And that's something that I never committed to in my life before. But now that God has called me um, to stay at home with them, it's definitely something that is, is prevalent in my life, you know. And so that'd be another title. <laughs> um the next thing would have to be a, a minister um being a pastor or oh i just say i'm a minister of christ you know um on this youtube channel running a ministry that's taken a lot out of me as well it's taken a lot of discipline it's taken a lot of heart and soul and now that i've um grown in in subscribers and grown in viewers um, I can no longer keep up with all of the comments and the emails and the letters that I get. Um, you know, I do my best to keep up with them as much as I, as much as possible and, and, and in a timely fashion. But I realize I'm only one person. And so I have to call upon God in order to get, receive the strength to continue to do this ministry every single day and to push out those videos and to respond to comments and to respond to emails because some people email me personal things in their life that they're going through um, asking me for guidance and I have to be able to pray about those things because this is very sensitive personal things that people share with me every single day. And I have to ask God for guidance and to pray for help and strength in, 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 in helping others as well. So <clears throat> absolutely, that takes a lot out of me. And then you guys know that I have a post office box where many have sent me letters. I have letters upon letters upon letters that I haven't responded to quite yet because I get that many letters in the, in the mail <laughs> now. Um, and so I'm, I'm doing my best to get back to you. If you haven't received a response from me or a letter from me, please be patient. I'm trying to get back to them as soon as I can. But I thank you guys for all of your comments. All of them are so wonderful and so precious to me. It brings me so much joy and encouragement to read them. You know, you guys are my you guys are my heroes. I, I, I love each and every one of you. And I thank you so much for all of your comments. So that's another thing that God has called me to um, and, and, and another thing that takes um, the strength and courage and faith and, 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 and everything to get through. And so that's another thing. And now recently, God has called me to what I refer to as my Proverbs 31 business. God has definitely put an avenue in my life to be able to resell fashion, resell clothing on an app called Poshmark. It's not something that I thought I was going to be doing. You know, you couldn't tell me that I was going to be reselling clothing to be able to help my family financially um, even a month ago. But that's what I've been doing. And it's been very good. Business has been very good. It's been bringing in a steady income to help out me and my family financially. And 
with that being said, it does take a lot out of me to run that business. You know, I'm not going to call myself a boss, babe. But in a sense, I am my own boss, you know, <laughs> in running my own Proverbs 31 business. The reason why I call it my Proverbs 31 women business, because if you read Proverbs 31 verses 10 through 31, it talks about um, a wife of noble character. A Proverbs 31 woman um, did have a business that she that she in turn made a profit from and used that money to help support and take care of her family financially and so that's why i call it my proverbs 31 business because i didn't know that god was going to call me to do this um but it, this idea just popped in my head i had been selling stuff for years you know on my own and i was pretty good at it um just stuff around my house or maybe you know a few things here and there that i would pick up from the goodwill but i didn't really think about turning that into a business and I'm not saying that this is going to be a forever business or something that I'm going to do forever you know but it is something that God has called me to do right now to help my family financially and so I've been putting a lot of time and energy into reselling clothing items on this app that's been very successful for me so far and so that's another title that God has called me to being a businesswoman and so with all of these things that I'm endeavoring in, there is no way on earth that I could ever do any of it without God. And so I had a video that I did yesterday talking about that you have to have faith in your business. You not only have to have faith in your business, you have to have faith in your life. And in order to have the strength to do what God has called you to do and to have all of these different titles that you have, you're not going to be able to do it on your own. You've got to rely on the strength of God to get you through. Otherwise, you're going to go crazy. You're going to lose your peace. You are going to be in total chaos. So make sure that in whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that God has called you to do, whether it be mom, you know, teacher, what you know, whatever it is that God has called. There's many titles that you could have, but in all of your titles that you have, Make sure that you're doing it as on to God and you're relying on the strength of God to get you through. Because I'm telling you guys, the minute you try to rely on yourself to do things and the minute you try to just get away from God in a sense, you're going to feel overwhelmed. You're going to feel like you can't do it. You're going to not be able to do it. You're just going to totally crash because it's going to be a lot, you know, it's going to be a lot. And not only has God called me to these many different titles that I'm naming in my life, keeping up with it all is, 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 is a lot. It's a lot. But it's only through Christ who strengthens me. And so I am a living proof. Sorry about that. I am a living proof that you can do it if God can call me to do all these different things you can do it as well don't ever say that you can't do something do it as on to the Lord and you will see the return you will see the fruits and of all these relationships that I used to have that have been severed away from me I look in their life and I look at their that at their fruit and it's not there it's not there and so Continue to pray for those that God has severed away from you. Continue to sum submit them in prayer and, and pray for peace over their lives. But you continue to do it, what God has called you to do. And you do it with confidence and with strength and with dignity. And you will get through. I love you guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.